There is nothing better than being outside. Fresh air, a good ramble and a bit of wildlife spotting. And there's no reason why tech can't help. There are oodles of gadgets on the market to assist the avid wildlife spotter. And I'm gonna see if they live up to their claims. Helping me is wildlife expert, Mike Dilger. He's an ecologist, ornithologist, journalist, and TV presenterist. So I'm in very good hands today. Mike, hi. Georgie, take a pew. Welcome to Brandon Marsh. Well, thank you. Have you spotted anything good so far? Well, we're looking out on lovely reed bed and this lake here, and there's quite a few birds knocking around. It's, it's basically bird watchers heaven. Well, thank you so much for helping me out today. I see that you have your binoculars. I've also brought mine along. I've got a pair of Bushnell Equinox they have four times magnification, a 230 metre viewing range and a built-in camera which can take both stills and video. Oh, and a night vision mode too. There's a really interesting bird here. Can you see it? Called a white egret. OK. It's like a heron, basically. 20 years ago, these weren't here. But now they're all over the country and they're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, let me take a photo of it. Nice. All singing, all dancing. All singing, all dancing. Would you like to have a little look? I certainly would. See how they compare to your pro ones? Interesting. I have to say, optically, they're not as good as these. Yep. But I think it's probably at the beginning of this technology of this. Yeah, yeah. That this kind of thing is only going to happen more and more. People shooting videos, taking pictures with their binoculars. So, not bad. Taking pictures of wildlife requires a great deal of patience. Sometimes you wait for hours, even days, for that perfect shot. My next bit of tech helps you play the waiting game. This is the Pluto Trigger. It can attach to a wide range of cameras and it autonomously takes photos for you. The Pluto has built-in sensors and it connects to your smartphone via Bluetooth. When it senses movement, it will automatically trigger your camera to take a picture. Very clever. Very, very clever. It's compatible with both DSLR and mirrorless cameras and it has a whole host of other cool photography features like time-lapse and lightning photography. But today I want to try and get a shot of an elusive otter and Mike knows where they're likely to hang out. They are really difficult to try and see. So if I pretend to be an otter... Yes, you can be... We can do a practice run. Swimming past. <laughs> Looking for a fish? Give me your best otter face. Oh, yes! <laughs> so what next then? Do we leave that running? Yeah, we can leave that running and we can come back in a couple of hours and see what photos we've collected. I can't wait to see what wildlife we've caught. Next up, I want to try and see if tech can quite literally identify the calls of nature. Now, Mike has been studying wildlife since he was eight years old, so is an old hat at recognising birdsong. I, on the other hand, am not, which is where the Warbler app should help. It's like a Shazam for the birdsong world, but I have no idea whether it's right or not. So, but I do. Yes, that's why you're here, so you can tell me how accurate it is. You simply press this big button and it records the sound. Then it'll identify the species and bring up some useful information and pictures to boot. Right, so it's saying um, great tit. Great tit, yep, there's great tit there. What else the, have you got? The common chaffin. Chaffinch, no, there's no chaffinch singing there. Oh, um, chiff, 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 chaff, that's chiff, it. Chaff. So you've got one going, teacher, 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 which is great tit, and one going, chiff, chaff, chiff, chaff, chiff, chaff. What about the great spotted woodpecker? I didn't hear one of those. They've got a call that goes chick, chick, an explosive call. Chick, 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 chick. She's a natural. Chick. <laughs> chick. I, I think if it gets a good recording of a song, yes. it'll be pretty much bang on. But I have to say, for a beginner, that is not bad. Mike's loving all my tech so far. Next up, I want to try and capture some images of birds whilst they're feeding. And for that, I've got a neat little camera. This bit of tech can get you really up close with the birds. It's called the Blink XT camera. And then it's actually meant to be a security camera, but it works really well as a bird cam. That's because it's weatherproof, battery powered, and has night vision built in. Its steady size means you can attach it to a little birdhouse. Then you can just leave it, and when your feathered friends turn up for a feed, it'll automatically detect them and record the action. And it gives you a nice live feed. There we go. If I run around, pretend I'm a blue tip, feed, feed, feed. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Great. 
It'll even alert you when there is some activity with a push notification to your phone and the videos get saved to the cloud. Oh, I think that's it set up. Should we come back in a couple of hours and see whether it's worked at Smash It? Cup of tea? Yes, good idea. Another fun outdoor activity is trying to identify all manner of flora and fauna. Again, something I'm not very good at. So, Mike, I've got a great app that I want to show you that I think is perfect for a beginner like me when you're out and about in nature. It's called Seek and it allows you to identify a plant, an insect or an animal. You simply take a photo and the app uses image recognition technology to find a match. I know what it is. Do you know what it is? I don't know what it is. Pretty okay. flower. It is a pretty flower. <laughs> Can I say... Boom! It's correct! Let's test it again. Get this another one. This little purple flower here. It can recognise around 30,000 different species. I'm so excited. Will I get it right or not? Do so you think this is a photo of violet? It is a violet. It's dog violet. It didn't get the species, no. but it got the right genus. There's one more plant I want to try over here. I'm going to duck under here. Off this is a marshland plant. I'm going to photograph this. Okay, processing. That's amazing. Marsh marigold, absolutely spot on the money. I have to say, that is a pretty powerful piece of tech. I'm really quite impressed with that. Another glowing endorsement from Mike. With our day drawing to a close, there was just time for Mike and I to check out our photos. Right, let's review the footage of what we collected today. This here is the binocular. So remind me the name of this little dude. We have some quite decent pictures of little egret. Although the resolution of the pictures from the binos aren't that good, it's enough to recognise the species of bird. I'd so, say success. Success, brilliant. Next up, I want to see if we manage to get any otter pictures with the Pluto trigger. Well, we've got a picture of you. <laughs> <laughs> what a handsome human otter. <laughs> So, no otters, but I've got some nice pictures of Mike to remember my day. I would say probably the otter hasn't passed. The kit okay. hasn't failed, the tech hasn't failed, but the otter just hasn't given us a kind it's of... It's an otter. It's an otter. It's an otter. Finally, the blink cam which we attach near the bird feeder. There's been many, many sightings of various birds, or, in this case, a cheeky little squirrel probably the commonest mammal that anyone will ever see, and they're always coming onto bird feeders. Oh, that is a nice little robin. I can identify you know that what? one. You're two for two. <laughs> that is a robin. That's a lovely shot. It could be a male or female robin. They both look the same, but I have to say I'm really impressed with the kit, Georgie. That camera, I'm buying one. 